In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create center lines in Autodesk Inventor. Now, to find the symbols for the center lines, you'll go to the Annotate tab, and then under that symbols, you'll see there's four little buttons which will help me create all the center lines I need. What you also have is a fifth one, which is your automated center lines. If I select that, you select the view that you want the automated center lines on, and then it will go and open up the automated center lines dialog box. Now, you can apply center lines, uh, automated center lines to whole features to fillet features, to cylindrical features, to revolved features, to bends in your, any sheet metal that you've got, as well as any punches. Now, depending on your projection, just make sure that you've got either your axis normal or axis parallel button uh, selected, okay, so that it does uh, do that project. So, you know, you're telling it, you know, the projection is either parallel or normal to the axis. Um, and then as well as you can go and do circular pattern features as well as rectangular pattern features. Then you've got an option to um, do sketch geometry as well as work points or work features as well. Now, you've got a little bit of control over the fillets and the circular edges on, on what actually gets, um, you know, sort of gets the center line. So with the fillets, for instance, you can say any fillet uh, minimum two, so anything below two, it won't do, and maximum six. So anything above six uh, mil radius will not get a, a center line on it, as well as for your circular edges. Okay, so... Um, anything between three and then say maybe five, um, anything above five and, and below three will not get um, will not get annotated. And then you've got an arc angle threshold as well. So if you've got any um, sort of arcs, uh, you can say that at the minimum angle must be 35 degrees. Anything above that will get an, a center line annotation on it. Okay. So we're not really going to, I'm not going to press OK anything. I want to show you how the um, how these four ones work up over here. So the first one we've got is just creating a normal center line. So with that, uh, you'll go and maybe select, uh, let's go up here. So select that point over there and then select that point over there. Okay, so there we go. I've created my center line and, uh, you know, great. Um, the other one we can do over here as well is the centerline bisector. So with the centerline bisector, you know, you can select that one and that one, and maybe that one and that one. Okay. But now, maybe what you wanted to do is actually have something going all the way through, a centerline all the way through. So, you know, we could go pull it, but it's not really going to go look look good, you know. So, you know, there, you know, that's a little bit longer than, than this one over here, this line over here. So that, that doesn't look, look very good when, you know, when you're presenting to a client. So so what happens is what we can do is do the centerline bisector where we select that one and we select this one over here. So with that, select, and now when I drag it, at least the um, the the line segments um, versus, you know, you know your, your spaces are constant all the way through. So that's a, that's one way that you can um, then can create it all the way running through. Then we've got our just our normal center points, and with the normal center point, we can go and select our points over here. Now this, unfortunately, you can't um, window select. You can see, I can't window select. So what I would do in this instance, I would actually say, listen, right, let's go do automated center line because if you've got a lot of holes, um, this can can take quite a while. So I would do automated center lines on that. Um, and then the final one we've got is our center line pattern. Okay, so our centered pattern over here. And with this, select, first of all, take a note at the bottom left-hand corner of it. It says select the center of the circle, circular pattern. Okay, so Inventor does have kind of like a command line. So if you are in any other uh, commands as well, just take a look down at the bottom left-hand corner and you'll see it'll start giving you little prompts on what to do. If, you, if you're not too sure on what to do next. So the first thing, select the <clears throat> center hole. And then I'm going to go and select all my different pattern holes. If I had to stop over here, that is what it would draw, but I'm gonna keep on going the fifth one. You'll see there's still a little gap over there. By selecting on the first one again, it will close that gap. So depending on how you'd like your uh, circular uh, pattern or center pattern to look, then you know either select that first one again or don't select it or just you know maybe you know do the first five or something like that. Once that's done, remember to right click and create. Okay, so like a lot of these uh, these commands in your 2D annotation, um, right click create is quite important, otherwise it won't create it. I know, you know, if, if a lot of you come from the AutoCAD, uh, you know, scenario, pressing escape gets you out, but you know, remember also pressing escape would actually kill the command and then you'd have to do it again. So just, you know, try and keep your hand off the escape button, remember to right click and create. Okay, and there we go. So that's just a couple. That's just the couple of ways to create your center lines um, in Autodesk Inventor. Thank you very much for watching.